Tuesday and time for our Pagin experience and today is all about you as it always is because you are magnificent you are powerful you're amazing hmm is that what you believe about yourself is that what you tell yourself what I know is this what you think of me is none of my business what I think of myself is all of my business let me be clear about this whether you love me or whether you like me, whether you adore me or whether you hate me, whether I annoy you or whether I enrich you, it doesn't matter in to me and my own self-confidence, my own sense of self. It doesn't matter because all that truly matters is how I think about myself, how I show up in the world, how I want to deliver my services, my message, my self with the world. That's what matters about how I think about it. The reason I'm talking about this was very, very interesting to me to see when a performer was on a major, huge, worldwide, global stage. And it was fascinating watching Twitter and watching Facebook and even on LinkedIn. Fascinating how people were either thrilled and uplifting her or oh, just writing horrible comments. You know, the truth about it is she had to have a lot of sense of self to get on the stage, do her her work, showcase her magnificence. She's been extraordinarily successful. So it's always interesting to me of hearing and watching how people point fingers at somebody else. But often, mm, don't look at the three fingers pointing about themselves. And so that's why I want to talk about this today. I wanted to really focus on this particular star could never have gotten on the stage if she really cared what you think about her. It was more important that she knew that she had these talents and she was amazing and she loved herself. And we have seen in, in history, we've seen people who met stardom, but man, their minds got caught up with what other people are thinking about them and it destroyed their lives. I don't want your life to get destroyed. I want you to feel amazing. I want to feel you to feel great about yourself. So the mantra for today is what you think of me is none of my business. What I think of myself is all of the business. And why is this critically important? First off, it's critically important because it's about your own self-awareness. You are influencing your own self-awareness about yourself. When you think about what you think of me is none of my business, what I think of me is all my business, you become much more aware of what are you thinking? What are the vibes? What are you putting out there? How are you uh, emu How are you showing up in the world? How are you presenting yourself? And when you start thinking about yourself in that way of how do you want to show up? How do you want to present yourself? How do you want to be the person you are? How do you want to sashay through a floor? How do you want to do that? Then you begin to notice the importance of your own self-awareness, the notice the vibes that you give up, to notice the conviction that you have to do what you feel you are supposed to do in this world, the conviction that you're the right person at the right time who has to deliver this right service. When you have that conviction, you're just going to show up and, ah, come on, let it be joyful. Let yourself have joy so that you have that exuding from you. You've got to love what you do. You have to love what you believe about yourself. You have to love and be enthusiastic about who you are. Because remember, if you're really walking through the world saying, what you think of me is none of my business, but what I think of myself is all of my business, you know that you want to have a high vibe you know you want to exude a sense of conviction and you know you want to have joy you want to express it now let me just say if that is not what you want hmm take a minute go within and start recognizing that you might not be self-aware you're so busy looking out there that you're not aware of what's happening in here and in here is where your power lies. In here is who you are. In here is the person that the world needs from you. But you have to find her. You have to see her. You have to express her. And you have to know her. 
The second part of what you think of me is none of my business. And what I think of me is all of my business is that when you start living by that rule, you start promoting within yourself, your self-confidence and your self-esteem. We live in a world where if you're in business, if you're speaking, if you're out there, you must embrace your the confidence to do what you knew, do. You have to have the uh, awareness and the esteem and the value of what you do. It's really important that you're aware of your own self-confidence and, and notice that if you are relying on external factors to determine your value, that will knock you down. In other words, if you need validation from somebody else, if you need validation from a crowd, if you need validation from your mother, if you need validation from your spouse, if you need validation from anybody outside of yourself, that can knock you down because the moment they're disappointed in you, the moment they have a suggestion or a criticism for you, you will take it and you will hold it and you will push yourself down and you will hurt you'll be hurting really yourself. That may not be their attention, but if you your value is determined by what they say or what they think about you, that can hurt you. Shift your focus, change it around. Focus on your own thoughts. Focus on how you feel about yourself. Focus on how awesome you are. Focus on the love that you have. Focus on the, the talents that you have. Focus on how you do great Excel sheets. Focus how you, you present. Focus on all that makes you, you. Because in doing that, that lifts you up. And honestly, that is all that matters. When you know, dang, I'm doing great. Dang, this is who I am. Dang, I'm loving myself. Wow, there's power in that. There's strength in that. And only you can do it. The other piece that I want you to know is that you, what you think of me is none of my business. What I think of myself is all of my business is that in, it really does encourage your personal growth and your personal development. Because when you are really aware of what you think about yourself, you also begin to do some assessments about yourself. You begin to then be aware of what are the areas that you want to improve about yourself and take actions to make those changes. You want to know if, as, as a speaker, you want to know if you find yourself stumbling over a spot or you don't feel as confident in a certain aspect of your speaking. If that happens, it's, that's a trigger. Wow. Okay, I'm not feeling that way. I need to get some assistance. I have to find some help. I want to take a course to improve that part of me. I want to feel really good about that part. If you're doing presentations at work or if you're having meetings with your teams and leaders, but you find yourself feeling a little bit mm, uneasy, that's great. You're identifying an area that you want to improve. So you're going to learn. You're going to take a class on meeting management. You're going to be understanding how you could be thinking about yourself differently. You're going to have conversations with people because you want to take action to make changes for your highest and best good. This is critically important for you. And then the final thing about, you know, understanding this whole concept of what you think of me is none in my business. And what I think of me is all of my business. Ah, you could take that stuff off of your shoulder. And go, Oh, yeah. Your thoughts, your beliefs out there, world, your perceptions of me, your criticism, your celebration, whatever it is that is happening out there. Wow, what freedom. Freedom that you don't get knocked down. Freedom that you're not dependent on somebody lifting you up. The freedom of knowing that this is all you, all about you, all about how you think about yourself, all how you invest in yourself, all how you seek ways to, to be your highest and best good. I just want you to know that I am so proud that you're able to take action and know that what you think of me is none of my business. What I think of myself is all of my business. For those of you, you can reach me at pegeen.com or at www.powerwomenworldwide, pegeen.com. Learn about my speaking and how I could serve you to bring me to speak to your group and power Women worldwide. If you're a woman leader in business and speaking, you want to check it out for sure. And for everyone, 
just know I have a course for you called Step Into Your Power, a free confidence, confidence course for you. Look forward to seeing you next week. Take care, everybody.